She's beaming with purple pride, waiting to give us her latest update. Mm -hmm. Ashley's favorite part of the morning has arrived because it's time for some Ashley scores. Yes, Scott. it is absolutely my favorite part of the morning. And let me tell you something what the success of the Kings makes these moments so much more special. The Kings hold the record for the longest playoff drought in any major sports team. In the country. Now, as they continue to light the beam, they are looking for a spot in the first round starting in April. Entering last night, the Kings needed a win as they welcomed the Utah Jazz to the Golden One Center. Center excuse me. Even without star De'Aaron Fox, the Kings delivered. Kevin Herter led Sacramento in points with a total of 27. DeMontis Sabonis with his 60th double double of the year, major. And Keegan Murray put 22 on the board for the Kings. He's three. Three threes away from a franchise rookie record. And with their 45th win this season, Sacramento took the game 121 to 113. Now that moves their magic number to a cut to clinch a playoff berth down to one. They need a win, and they are set to take on the Minnesota Timberwolves tomorrow night at 7 p.m. So, Tina and Jordan, that's going to be a huge game. Mm -hmm. And the bracket for the final four of March Madness is almost set with yet another lower seed being knocked out of the tournament. The Elite Eight in the NCAA tournament continued on in Las Vegas, Nevada last night, where the number four Connecticut Huskies took on the number three. Gonzaga Bulldogs. UConn outscored Gonzaga and remained ahead of the scoreboard throughout the game with an 82 54 win. UConn will advance and face the winner between five seed Miami and two seed Texas, while FAU will take on the winner between San Diego State and Creighton. Final four games will take place on April 1st. And over in the women's division one bracket, the fight for the final four continues as games for the Elite Eight have just been set. On both sides, last few possessions. Miller leading the break. Oh, these games have just been too good. Number two seed Maryland left it all on the court, taking on three seed Notre Dame. Everything was uphill after the layup from Diamond Miller, assisted by Shane Sellers, or she Cheyenne Sellers, my apologies. Maryland stayed on top for the rest of the game, defeating Notre Dame 76 to 59. The Elite Eight is now set with all games taking place today and tomorrow. And only two number one seeds in the mix. I'm looking forward to actually the Miami game tonight. And our local video comes from Good Day viewer R. Guzman. This is a video of Dayton Swift Hunter. Baseball season is officially underway, and here is Dayton crushing a fastball over the fence. He plays for the Modesto Panthers, and they were playing the Turlock Bulldogs when he hit that home run. Way to go. We love to show off your favorite athletes, so send in those local sports stories. Send in a video clip. Please make sure it's a video clip. Make sure to add a description. Email it to awilliams at kmaxtv.com. And guess what? We'll run it on Ashley Scores. 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 Marlene on Ashley Scores. Scores. <laughs> All right. Back on over to you. Thank you. Sorry, I messed up your prompter. Oh there we boy. go. Oh, boy. <laughs>